Hey, how are we doing? Joe from Queens here. Just a quick video. I've been a little busy lately, so I haven't uh, been able to get to uh, the last part of my shave then, the pulse shave part. And I haven't been able to do a, a shaving video recently. So just a quick uh, a quick uh, video. Uh, Valdi, Valdi L uh, commented on the last one that I, I didn't go into the races deep enough. So uh, I want to show, I think, my 15 top uh, raises that I think are my 15 top. This was a tough decision. There's many others, but uh, I picked out uh, I picked out 15. I want to show you today. Just a quick video. And uh, Chris Senior, uh, it's been missing me. It's always good to be missed. This is the videos really. So uh, Chris, we're gonna get get to one soon, uh, definitely. All right. So let's start with the races. We're gonna start from 15, go down to one. Uh, but really, any of them could have been mixed back and forth. It, you know, they're all uh, my top races. Firstly, we have the uh, Schick Injector from 1939. It's a beauty. There it is, the Schick Injector. I rated it at 15, but it could have been, it could have been a, uh, you know, higher one. Where else do you get a guarantee like this? I featured this in one of my past uh, videos. So that's 15. Next, number 14, I have this very nice open comb Gillette. This is from the 1920s, and it's an open comb. It's really in good shape, too, to realize it's getting close to 100 years old. Look at this. Excellent shape. Uh, got a little blade, uh, blade bank in here. And it's got the nice velvet uh, inside. So I rate, rated this at number 14. Why? I don't know. 13 is the Aristocrat. Aristocrat, very nice razor. Not an aggressive razor, but uh, not that mild. Real nice razor. Also has this uh, nice uh, bank in here for the blade. So I rated this next. Next. The old toggle. Look at that, huh? Look at that toggle. That's nice. This is the uh, toggle. I have a few fat boys also, which I also like. But the toggle is unique and rare. So, next came the toggle. And the toggle's in this nice case. This one I keep separately on a table in my living room. Just for display, people come in the house. To, what the heck is that? But uh, this is the top. Next, the red tip. The red tip. I have a couple of these. One of them is my birth year. This is the most aggressive of the uh, of the uh, Gillette uh, butterfly opening uh, super speed type razors. So uh, I brought the red tip next, and of course, a fat boy. I think every shaver should have one in the. Uh, collection. The, uh, the Black Beauty, I have a couple of these. One is a little different, has uh, plastic underneath. But uh, I have a few of these. I have an, even have a new old stock, maybe I'll show you in the next video, of the uh, Black Beauty. These look great razors. Next, the uh, McCaw, the slant with the barbershop pole. I believe it's the 39C if I'm not mistaken. Very aggressive, one of my top razors. And this one I got at Pastor's, the 34C, the gold, and uh, also should be in everybody's uh, razor collection. Next, the Cobra. Everybody's getting the mongoose now, but uh, I'm gonna stick with the Cobra a little bit longer. It's a great razor, and it's one of my top razors. The Icon Slant. Now they make it with a DLC head, but uh, I don't know if it's going to be much of a difference. So, another one of my top razors. The Tradea Close Comb. Also up there. Very nice razor. The uh, Mogress. Uh, it's really the Progress. 
but it has this uh, different tip on the bottom for the adjustment. So for the Mark Ress, very nice Ress. Number two, the Mule R41 Beast. Top racers of mine, number two, I believe. It could have been three or four, but I made it number two. Maybe another day I would have picked it three or four. I don't know, but what a razor. And number one, number one, the one that won number one, the Future. Minicure Future. There's no other razor like this one. This is unique, the uh, Future. So I picked it for number one. Why? I don't know. But anyway, soon I hope to get to some more shaving videos for you. Travel about a little bit, maybe grab, grab a little nosh somewhere, uh, and I hope to get to that soon. So, uh, Anthony, uh, I hope to say his name right, Guerreri, uh, it's his birthday last week, a belated happy birthday, he's one of the uh, viewers that I have, and uh, I wish him all the best, a happy belated birthday, and all the best to everyone, and as we go into the fall season, uh, we'll try to get out there and uh, get some more shaving videos done. So, take care. And uh, we'll see you soon, and all the best. Bye-bye.